What's up guys, it's Jacob and today it just isn't working out for me. As you can see we got a lot of rain. But anyways, we're waiting for our reed valves to get into the mail. Uh, meanwhile, I do have the carburetor off the bike so I'm just gonna go in the house and clean it and adjust that to spec and we are going to get this CR125 running. Alright, what's up guys? We're inside right now because it's currently raining. I got the carburetor. I'm not going to show, uh, I'm just going to um, time lapse this process because I've, you guys have seen it on my channel before. If you want to see how to clean the carburetor in depth, um, check out my uh, CR, I meant my XR100 uh, dirt bike carburetor clean how to video. Anyways, you just need some simple hand tools, maybe like a 10 mil, 8 mil, something like that. Um, and you should be good, but we're just going to go ahead and time lapse the rest of this and we're going to get this carburetor tuned in. What's up guys, we're back the same day. Stopped raining, I got my new reeds. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is my 2003 CR125 two stroke. Um, we bought it as a fixer upper. I just threw a new top end on it and we are just trying to get it idling. So if you haven't watched my last video, go watch that now. So we finally got the power reeds. Boysen power reeds. So these should replace the stock ones very good. We're going to go throw these on and hopefully um, the bike will idle after this. If not, um, I will try to adjust the clip on this and maybe mess with the jets, but we'll see. So stay tuned guys, should be interesting. Okay guys, if you didn't see the last video, I showed you guys that this uh, reed has a crack in it right there. And we went ahead and ordered some Boyson power reeds, so we're going to go ahead and throw these on. I'm just going to do a time lapse, but I'll show you guys any interesting tips if I have them.
What's up guys? Good morning. Walking out to the shed. Um, yesterday it started raining. I got everything put together before it did, but I wasn't able to uh, to try to start it up. So we're getting the bike out this morning. And I just got to do a couple more things to get it all ready. I gotta put the air filter on it and might need some gas. Um, maybe adjust the carburetor a little bit, but she's put together for the most part, besides the, the shrouds and those plastics, because um, just in case I need to get back to the radiators or whatever. So I'm just, I'm gonna wait to put it back together until everything's good to go. guys so it starts up and idles a lot better uh i think the gas is bad in it because i haven't changed it in like a month or two but and i also noticed it's stripping gas again well that's an easy fix i probably just put the needle valve in wrong or something i could just take it off from right here and fix that um but i do it does sound like it's bogging when i give it full throttle i may have to change the jets in it it does have a pro circuit pipe sure if the previous owner did that or not but uh, it bogs a little um, guess I just have to throw some fresh gas in there and uh, see what we get but anyways I'm gonna end the video right here um, you will see this thing soon hopefully the next time you see it I'll be riding it uh, I'm gonna just clean it up a little bit maybe put on the plastics fix that carburetor issue um, and then I'll show you guys what I get after that Next video, we should be working on my XR100, hopefully doing some wheelies on that. Need to pull that thing out of the shed too, it's been sitting there forever. And then we'll check that thing out. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, comment. I'll see you guys next time. Alright guys, I had to grab my phone and come back out here. I'm uploading the video inside while I'm working on my dirt bike. Um, the last clip you guys seen, it was just pouring fuel out of the overflow. Um, I'll insert the picture of what was wrong. It was the O-ring and the seat um, where the needle valve goes that was um, ripped and it was actually allowing the fuel to pour out. So it was a big headache. I had to, overall, I had to take this thing on and off like three times. Now the bowl is leaking, but I just need a new gasket for that, but that's good. As you guys can see, I finally got it idling right, and I'm so happy. Um, just crazy how much stuff I had to do. To, this thing is a headache, but I finally got it idling right, and now we can rip it. I'm going to put the finishing touches on it, and this screw, that's the idle screw with the nut on it. There's an air screw right there. And then the idle screw right here. That is very finicky on these bikes. So if your bike isn't idling right, check that again too. I had to basically screw mine in all the way and then fiddle with it more just to get it idling right. But I'm glad we got it right. Stay tuned for the next video. See you guys next time. <laughs>